Hello all, welcome back to Public Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to send and get WhatsApp message for Google Ads leads via Vati. So are you also using Google Ads to promote and grow your business? Then this video is definitely for you. So with here, I'm doing the same. I'm running a dental clinic and to promote and grow my dental clinic, I'm using Google Ads. So now what I want is that as soon as a new lead is generated with the help of my Google Ads, my lead should receive an automated WhatsApp message to nurture that lead and also my team on whatsapp should be notified about the new lead received so that we can follow up quickly and efficiently so to do this we are going to create a connection between google ads and vati to create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language we are going to use fably connect it is an amazing automation software so i'm going to create this connection so that i can convert my leads into paying clients so do you also wish to learn this process step by step then let me take you to my computer screen Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to send and get WhatsApp message for Google Ads leads via Vati. So as you know that I'm running a dental clinic and I run Google Ad campaigns to attract potential patients searching for dental services. So now what I want is that when someone fills out the Google Ads form expressing their interest in our services, an automated WhatsApp message is sent to them via Vati. And also my clinic teams receive a WhatsApp message is notifying with the new lead details allowing them to follow up quickly and efficiently so to do all of this i have simply opened the landing page of pabli by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser it is very easy so as soon as we are going to open the landing page of pabli we are going to get two options one is sign in and the another one is sign up for free so if you're a new user you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month but i am an existing user so i'm going to click on sign in right over here and as soon as we are going to click on sign in it is opening all pabli apps over here you can see all the tools and applications offered by pabli but in today's video we are going to use pabli connect because we are connecting different applications so i'm going to click on access now right over here to access my pabli connects account and as soon as we are going to do so it is opening my dashboard and to start with the automation we are going to click on this button which says create workflow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder i want to save the workflow in so i want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and i want to name my workflow as how to send and get whatsapp message for google ads leads via vati and then we are going to click on create and as soon as we are going to click on create it is opening the most important window of our automation which is our workflow window so this is the most important window because we have trigger an action in this trigger means when this happens an action means do this so by this you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the command and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so here we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger and to start with our automation we have to select our trigger application so i'm going to select my trigger application as google ads because i want that as soon as a new lead form is submitted in my google ads automatically my workflow should be triggered and now for the trigger event we are going to select it as new lead form entry and as soon as we are going to do this it is giving me a webhook url so I'm going to copy this webhook URL and then you have to follow this help text in order to connect your workflow with your Google Ads account. So what we are going to do is I'm going to open my Google Ads account and as you can see that this is the demo campaign which I have created right over here. So now I'm going to scroll and as you can see over here it is saying add features to your ads. So I'm going to click on see more right over here and we are going to scroll and as you can see lead forms. So I'm going to open this and as you can see add lead forms. So I'm going to go on this and as soon as we are going to go on add lead forms you can see that it is asking me for the details we have to get filled so i'm going to select the name phone number and then email we are going to move on forward and as you can see lead delivery option so i'm going to open this and now you can see the web book url and the key so i'm going to paste the url we copied from our workflow and then we are going to enter a key right over here and after doing this we are going to click on send test data so i'm going to click on this and as soon as we are going to do this yes you can see test data sent over here we have successfully sent a test data to this webhook url so i'm going to put my workflow and check that if pabli has captured this test data or not so i'm going to put my workflow and yes you can see that pabli has captured this data which is test data you can see the first name the phone number and the email which is the example test or demo details so yes over here i received the test details because my campaign is in draft mode so if you are running a live campaign you are going to capture the live details of your lead right over here so yes after capturing these lead details we have successfully completed 
our trigger step and now we are going to move on towards our action step so what i want is that i want to send an automated whatsapp message to this lead for that i'm going to search for my action application as vati right over here so i'm going to search for it and then we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as send template message and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to click on connect as you can see that it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection so if you have already connected your vati account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and now it is asking me for the api endpoint and the access token so to get this we are going to follow the help text and it is saying navigate to the top on your vati dashboard click on the hamburger icon then click on the api docs to find your api endpoint and same goes for access token so what we have to do is i'm going to follow this i'm going to open my vati right from here and as soon as we are going to open our vati account you can see that this is my account and over here are all the templates that i've created so now what we have to do is we have to go on this api docs right from here so i'm going to go on api docs and as soon as we are going to do this you can see the api endpoint and the access token so what we are going to do is we are going to copy both of this and then we are going to paste it right over here in my workflow i'm going to paste the api endpoint and same we are going to do for the access token and after pasting both of this we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that we have successfully connected our vati account with our pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the whatsapp number so we are going to map this so what is mapping so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected google ads as a trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only so as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new response received so i'm going to give you an example that over here it is asking me for the whatsapp number okay so let's suppose that i'm going to enter a whatsapp number right over here manually so then this will not change with every new lead received because this is a static information and we have entered it manually but if we are going to map this from the previous response suppose you can see the number so let's suppose that we are going to map this test number from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and after doing this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the template so as you can see that i have created two templates right over here whatsapp message to the team and whatsapp message to the lead so over here we are going to send a whatsapp message to the lead first so i'm going to select the same and now as you can see that this is my template so i'm going to select right over here whatsapp message to the lead and after selecting this it is asking me for the broadcast name so i'm going to enter it as leads right over here and then we are going to move on forward you can keep the broadcast name as you wish and now it is asking me for the custom parameters so over here to let you know what does this mean again we are going to open our template and as you can see that this is my template and you can also notice that there is name in curly brackets so i've entered this name as a variable right over here because what i want is that with every new whatsapp message this name should change so i want that this name should be replaced with the name of my lead as soon as a new whatsapp message is sent so yeah for that we are going to enter this custom parameter as name so what we have to do is we have to follow this help text so first i'm going to copy this example right from here and then we are going to paste it right over here under our custom parameters and now it is saying name over here it is saying color so what is asking me for the name of the variable so as you can see the name of my variable is name only so i'm going to enter the same right over here in my workflow and now after entering the variable name it is asking me for the value so over here i'm going to keep it as the name of my lead so we are going to map it i'm going to look for the name and as you can see first name last name so we are going to map this demo details of my lead so yes over here you can see the name of the custom parameter is name and for that the value is first name last name and after doing this i'm going to click on save and send test request but before clicking on save and send test request as you can see that i have only a single variable right over here in my template so if you have multiple variables in your template that you are going to enter multiple details right over here but i had only a single so that's why i've entered only one and now i'm going to click on this but before clicking on this i'll just replace this dummy phone number with my original phone number so that i can show you the message and the response received 
and after doing this i'm going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have successfully sent a whatsapp message to the lead over here you can see the details of our lead so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open my whatsapp and check for the whatsapp message sent to the lead so i'm going to open the whatsapp and yes you can see hello first name last name thank you for your interest in our dental services you can see exact same message right over here which we entered so yes with this we have successfully completed this sent message step so i'm going to first rename this step i'm going to go on this three dots and then rename so i'm going to keep this name as sent message because i want to get a message too so to avoid the further confusion i'm going to keep the name as sent message another we are going to add another action step right over here because i also want to get a whatsapp message so i'm going to search for the action application as vati again as you can see the same so we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as send template message and then we are going to click on connect and as soon as we are going to do so yes you can see again it is asking me for the same so i've recently connected my vati account so i'm going to click on select existing connection and then save and as soon as we are going to do so you can see that we have successfully connected our vati account with our pabli's workflow so now i'm going to rename this action step as get message so i'm going to rename this right from here as get message to avoid the confusion so i'm going to enter it yes you can see vati send message and get message now we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the whatsapp number so i'm going to enter the whatsapp number of my team right over here so i'm going to enter this manually because i don't want to change this with every new lead receive and i want this to remain static so now after entering this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the template so i'm going to select the template as whatsapp message to the team over here i'm going to show you the template too as you can see that this is my template so i'm going to select the same and now it is asking me for the broadcast name so i'm going to keep it as team right over here we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the custom parameters again so as you can see over here in my this template we have three custom parameters so i'm going to follow these steps to enter all of this one by one so i'm going to copy this one right from here the example we are going to paste it we are going to remove these extra spaces and then we are going to enter the name of our custom parameters one by one so for the first it is name so i'm going to enter the name right over here you can see the second is email so i'm going to enter the email right over here and then the third one is phone so again i'm going to copy this and paste it right over here and enter for the phone too and then after that we are going to map the values we are going to enter the third as phone right over here so i'm going to enter it so as you can see that i've named all the three custom parameters and now just i have to enter the values so for the custom parameter name i'm going to keep the value as name which is first name last name right over here you can see the same for the email i'm going to keep it as the email of my lead i'm going to look for it as you can see the same so we are going to enter it and then we are going to map the value for the phone as you can see the same so we are going to enter it and after doing all of this again we are going to click on save and send test request and as soon as we are going to click on save and send test request yes you can see that we have received another response that we have successfully sent a whatsapp message to this number so i'm going to open my whatsapp and check for the message and yes you can see new lead alert we have just received a new lead from google ads campaign you can see the lead details name email and phone number so yes with this we have successfully sent a whatsapp message to our team too so yes with this our workflow is successful and i'll just summarize this workflow for you once for the trigger application i selected google ads and then for the trigger event we selected new lead form entry and then for the action steps we selected vati right over here because i wanted that as soon as the new lead form entry is made in my google ads automatically that lead should receive an automated whatsapp message like this and also my team should receive a notification message over here you can see the example for the same too and yes this automation ensures immediate engagement with potential patients improving our conversion rates and enhancing the patient experience so yes once i've created this automation i just have to sit back and relax because as soon as the new google ad is submitted automatically i don't have to get back to my workflow and do this procedure again and again or click on save and send test request as soon as the lead is submitted automatically they'll receive a whatsapp message and my team on whatsapp will also get notified so yes this was it for the video and if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching
not only these applications but with the help of Pabli you can integrate many more applications. So now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the readpabli.com. If you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website. And if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.